you see uh, these grove beds that we run, custom made, 90mm screw inlets, we're able to join 10 in a row if we wanted, 20 in a row or whatever, create big commercial systems. Well, the key points are, you know, I don't use any tricky minor siphons, bell siphons, acron siphons, whatever, I, I'm not interested in them, I think they're too unreliable. Um, this is just a simple flood and drain, so, you know, got the standard shield to keep all your gravel out. Always make sure it's 100 mil. You know, 90 mil pipe, if you put 90 mil pipe as a shield, and you've got all the holes drilled in it, all that kind of thing, so the water gets into it from the grow bed. 90 mil, you can't get your hand in. See 100 mil, I can get my hand to the bottom, pick up rocks, clean things out, do whatever I want. So, you know, whenever you're putting anything together like this, you know, think about the size of your hand, that kind of thing. I'll see if I can just undo this one. It's a bit tight. Oh, come on, there it goes. You know, the simple flood and drain systems that I prefer to run. Do it for low maintenance. And also, you know, complications and error, you know. If you keep everything simple as you can, you end up with a lot less stress. You know, a lot of uh, bell siphons and whatever, they're just totally unreliable. One thing goes wrong, your whole system drains out under the ground and, you know, it's just not what you want. I keep everything doubled, just for safety. So as you can see, pretty simple stuff. You know, hole drilled there, hole right at the bottom, as the water fills up, so it's, water's coming up into the tank, it'll hit the top, it'll overflow and flood fill, flood drain into the sump, which is next door in another greenhouse. So, simple stuff, like, I've been running these for so long, I've never had anything clog up the hole. Um, you know, it's it's... It just doesn't seem to happen. One at the top, one at the bottom. So even if it does fail, it'll always overflow at the top, and all the water's just going to, you know, go back down, and it'll it'll overflow, um, you know, back into your sump. But anything else goes wrong, and when you try to complicate it, bell siphons, things like that, they look pretty sexy, and it sounds great. I think you know, great science behind it. It's like your own little science experiment. But just for reliability, you know, on systems that I just want to sit and forget as much as possible. Simple flooding, flooding drainers, you know, all I bothered with. Two holes in a pipe, screw coupling. The reason I use screw couplings, it's um, just to get maintenance. I can put this in, screw it in, job done. Something goes wrong, say, uh, the Scotia I use in this bed, the volcanic rock, it compresses after a while, the, the bed will shrink, uh, it'll drop down, you know, an inch on the side, or, you know, over time. So, having stand pipes that you can just easily get out, you know, unscrew them, uh, means you could either cut the top down, and on some of them I'll cut a coupling, uh, just to like a centimetre, so when there's seedlings I can get the water a bit higher on the gravel, so obviously as the water comes up and it hits this point, that's where it all overflows, so that gives you the level in your bed, like if you dig into there you'll find your levels about, you know, when it's overfilling like it was a minute ago before I pulled this out, about an inch below the soil. Having things that come out, keeping everything simple, means you can easily adapt. Add a coupling on to make the water level higher in the bed. So add, you know, a centimetre coupling cut down onto the top of this and it'll bring the water level up in the bed very simply. You know, it's just, the way to do it is just, you know, keep it simple, stupid kind of stuff. It's, um, you know, it also makes for ease. Like, I can adapt, I can change the size of the standpipe, I can add to the standpipe, I can do whatever I want. And keeping it screwed and not glued and all that kind of thing, you know, she's back in. No dramas. It's easy to maintain, easy to clean, uh, you know, very simple stuff. All the systems I make, you know, these being custom, each end has the 90 mils, you know, you can see one down there. So I can just keep joining, joining, joining. Uh, and also, both ends have a standpipe. So this is flood and drain coming from two places. So if one does stuff up, if this one happened to go clogged or something went wrong, instead of overflowing the bed, causing problems, the other standpipe will handle it. It'll just do the same job. So it wasn't impossible. It took probably three minutes to get both standpipes because you can unscrew them, quickly put a mark on a standpipe once the other end was filling, and cut this one down. So this system, even with two ways to drain it, both ends drain, it's, it's easy to have them both exactly pulling at the same rate. So the, when the bed fills, this one doesn't get more or get all the water early. They both get it at the same time. It's just simple stuff. A lot of the pipes coming in here. 
you can't really see it, but <clears throat> underneath the pipe, keep the water out of the sun. There's, I don't know, 50 holes, you know, along the pipe that brings the water in. So it's evenly dispersing it through the middle of the tank. So in this grow bed, you can see about there, all the way down there, there's holes. So the water coming in is coming out through the middle of the grow bed and then to each end. So again, there's, you don't get really dead spots, that kind of thing. It's not just coming in from one end or another. So yeah, just a quick run through on why bother having double if you can. Uh, like I say, these are custom made bed, beds. So um, you know, I get the right inlets put in originally so I can always upgrade, keep everything easy. And I think just doubling up is just, you know, when you can, uh, the little extra cost just to have, you know, double up uh, means that, you know, I don't have to ever worry about it. This, this system just runs by itself. Everything looks after itself. It's, uh, you know, lowers the maintenance. It just lowers the stress of knowing it. It's, no matter what goes on, something clogs up, the bed's fine. It's not going to overflow, waste water, or, you know, nothing stupid's going to happen. So, yeah, just a quick bit on, uh, you know, things like that.